Steve here. And um, I think I had my phone ringer on. No, I didn't. But I did just get off a um, rather extensive um, telephone call with my eldest brother and my younger brother. So I was bookended by both of them. And I was the second to the youngest. And then there's another, an older sister and an older brother than the eldest. And um, sometimes, so <laughs> it's good that we can laugh about these things. It was a wonderful conversation. Here's what I'll say. I, I got to know my eldest brother at a level that I had never known him in terms of interaction. I knew him on an energetic level. I knew when he left the home at, you know, when he went away to college at 18, he left the home. And I felt my safety was gone. And, and I felt a loss, a loss, a heart loss. He was a heart connection for me. And when he went away to college and he went away, you know, far away, you know, I mean, maybe only a seven or eight hour drive, but still he wasn't coming home. And that was a big loss. And so then, you know, circumstances as they are, he got out of college, went, drafted into the army, got out of the army, did a program in journalism, and then moved to Montreal for a year and a half, two years. By the time he came back, I was leaving and moving up to a vineyard in Northern California, where I lived for two years. And so when I came back, like my life got very active. I, I went to hair cutting school. I did an internship uh, in Beverly Hills for a year. I worked for three years in Pasadena as a hairstylist. And then I moved to Iowa to go to chiropractic college. So really, you know, the, our, our, our paths crossed, but, um, but, both of us had a lot going on in our lives, so we didn't really have the time that we had today. And so today, he and my younger brother are driving across the Southwest to go visit my eldest brother's eldest son, who's, who's in his 40s, probably mid-40s. So we're all getting older. <laughs> and um, my eldest brother is I think 81 or 82 so anyway whoosh started off kind of in the relationship the three of us have had um up to this point in our life so we just kind of kicked in to the old selves that we were except nobody really kicked into it we just like it's like learning to ride a bike again, learning to play ping pong, learning how to interact as people who haven't interacted much in, in quite a long time. And then the heart opened. And so it was brilliant to be a new person, having a new relationship with people I've known my my whole life. I mean, my older brother, I've known my whole life. And my younger brother is four years younger. So I've known him four years less. But what a day of opening. And so I'm going to make this the Mayan calendar reading. Because I can't because I make up my own reality. Or, so, or the cosmos helps make up reality in which I make up my reality about 
the reality that the cosmos is making up at the same time. Or it may just be all me. And I'm okay. I'm okay if it's all me. I'm okay if I'm making this up and I'm okay with going like, oh, I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> you know, oh, I made this? What was I thinking? You know, and, and if we look out of the world and we go, we made this? What were we thinking? Huh. Or you can go, we made this. Isn't it great? You know, it's all what you're making up about what you've made up. And in some on some levels, it's all made up. And so what do we want to make up now? That's what we might want to think about. So we are coming into the final two days of the 11th month of 13 months in the lunar calendar, the, the lunar year. And it goes by the 13 lunar tones. So those 13 lunar tones occur over the course of 13 days. And they also, those lunar tones occur as months over the 364 days with one day at a time. And so we've been in the spectral moon of liberation, which is to dissolve, release, and liberate. And today was a day of the yellow crystal sun. And the crystal is the 12th tone, which is about dedicate, universalize, and cooperate. And 12 represents the max maximum evolution of form, its attainment of complete complexity, whatever that means. If it means something to you, great. And I could read more about Crystal Tone 12, which is today, but I'm going to go on to Tone 13, which is the Cosmic Tone, which is to endure, transcend, and be present. 13 is the key to the Mayan galactic codes of fourth dimensional time and to the annual lunation cycles by which Earth is guided in her solar path. Tone 13 opens up new worlds. That's what I'm going to say. I'm just going to say it, and it might be true. Tomorrow is the last day of the spectral month of liberation, and tomorrow in, in the calendar, this is 364 days, but every 260 days, there's 260 different kin of which you are one of them. So my kin is the red cosmic dragon kin, and we are guided by life force, in case you didn't notice. And if you go to 13moon.com and you decode your birth date, they'll tell you, tell you that your kin number between 1 and 260. So I am kin number 221. And so once, maybe twice a year, it comes up for your full kin. So red cosmic dra red dragon comes up twice a month. All the kin come up twice a month. But the red cosmic dragon, which has to do that with a specific day you were born, comes up once, maybe twice a year. And tomorrow is that day. Pretty cosmic as far as I'm concerned, and tomorrow is the last day of the spectral moon of liberation, which is dissolve, release, and liberate. And I was on a phone call with my old eldest and youngest brother, and our hearts were freed in that conversation. And I don't believe that any of my family members, per se, siblings, whatever, um, no, I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> and I, th I thought about it. And I thought, no, I want to just be free to go blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know? But a number of my stepchildren know and occasionally watch me do these videos. <sighs> but something was liberated on the second to last day of liberation. And on... Thursday, we start the crystal moon of cooperation. 
which is dedicate, universalize, cooperate. Do your little bit of good where you where you are. It says where you are are. I don't know why there's two R's, but and it's these little bits of good that overwhelm the world. And that was by Desmond Tutu. That the crystal moon, 12th lunar moon, will complete on June 26th. On June 27th, the cosmic moon of presence will be upon us. I'm just going to say that the more I understand about this, the more I see the sequence of events and how I'm working with the tones that are part of the cosmic galactic spectrum of tones that are affecting us every day of the week. And by understanding the Mayan calendar, it can give you a glimpse into what you might be working with. So um, today and tomorrow are really completion days. We're completing things for this month. And then on Thursday, we start all over again. And it's like my energy is just so freed up from that conversation, that heart-centered conversation with my brothers. <laughs> and even though I always knew that there was a heart-centeredness, it just wasn't kind of acceptable to, as far as, far as I made up, my father wasn't into this touchy-feely stuff. Oh, I don't care how you're feeling. Just get the job done. You know, why is he crying? Oh, his parakeet died. Oh, what's he crying over a dead parakeet? <laughs> anyway, he's passed and, um, and his sons are changing their worlds. Because without heart, you got nothing. I'll just say that. And with that, I'll bid you adieu and, and uh, wish you a lovely day and say, as I oftentimes say, Namaskar.